Hi everyone, it's Tim here. It's time for me to update my Give Energy battery firmware. So apparently uh, this is supposed to fix a few issues that some people have been having with um, state of charge readings on their battery. I've not experienced any of these problems, but I thought I may as well update the firmware regardless because it's always good to have updated firmware. And you can see here it says the battery will be, when the battery will be updated, if the update is successful, the battery will then recalibrate itself by fully discharging and charging its stored energy. So in preparation for this, what I did yesterday was discharge the, uh, the battery as much as I could during the uh, the three hours where I've got my flux um, high export rate during um, from four until seven in the evening. So I discharged as much of the battery as I could. Um, however, it's now really sunny today um, and the battery is already back up to 50%. So uh, anyway, it's going to discharge, that's fine. Um, but the other thing I've made sure is that today is a super sunny day, which means that when the battery recharges, it will do so uh, entirely from uh, solar power. Uh, so um, the current state of, uh, of the solar panels is about three and nearly three and a half kilowatts. Um, and the obviously the, the rate of charge of the batteries is 3.6 kilowatts. Um, in another hour or so, once the battery has discharged, um, when it starts recharging again, that should completely be covered by the solar. So uh, let's click the button and see what happens. And I'll come back in a few minutes and show you what the result is. So here we go. Please read below, blah, blah, blah. The battery will be updated. Yes, I've read and understood. Confirm firmware. Okay, so that seemed to get stuck a little bit, so um, I refreshed and it appears to have worked. Um, we have now have a notification, let's see what that says. Firmware started, we've started the update on the firmware, we'll let you know when it's finished. So that was six minutes ago. Uh, okay, well, I'm assuming that's worked. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can find this particular page under the My Inverter option here, and then you click the Software tab, and that will bring you to the uh, the firmware um, page and you can do your updates there. So uh, we will see what happens over the rest of the day and then I will uh, let you know what uh, the result is. Okay, so it's been a few days since I did the update. Let me take you through what happened. Right, so to recap, the previous day I attempted to drain the battery as much as possible by using the full three hours of uh, flux export time. So that's this section here. And you can see I managed to get the battery down to, well, just about 43%. And then obviously it used a little bit more for the rest of the night and it got down to about 37%. Uh, the following night um, it got down to 33 before I um, kicked off the eddy which would heat the hot water and that's what's happening in this bit here. Uh, the battery then attempts to, um, once it gets down to 20% it then attempts to charge it up a little bit and then the eddy takes a bit more power so the battery goes down and then it recharges a little bit etc etc etc. Always trying to keep to 20% during that period um, and then at uh, five o'clock um, everything turns off, the uh, battery is at 20% and um, the eddy has turned off and the battery just continues then to try and support the rest of the house. Obviously the sun comes up at this point in the morning and so the battery starts to fill up again uh, and it gets up to, what's that, about 50% by the time I did the, the update. Uh, so then what happened is uh, it started to do the discharge except what was really weird is that it immediately dropped to, to zero. Um, which was very strange. wasn't quite sure why it was doing that. Uh, in addition to that, the export rate, in fact, was only about 600 watts. Uh, I think you can see there the battery power is 597 watts. So it was discharging much slower than I anticipated. So this is something I probably should have anticipated and I didn't um, because obviously we had a lot of solar power at that time. Um, what I failed to appreciate was that that would mean that the battery couldn't discharge at its full rate. So um, I don't know why it wasn't discharging um, faster than 600 watts. It could have discharged a little bit quicker than that. Um, but uh, even so, it was only discharging at 600 watts. So I thought, oh God, I've made a complete mess of this. This is going to take hours and hours and hours to uh, to calibrate. Um, in hindsight, what I could have done is maybe switched off the, the solar panels by isolating them at the DC switches. And that might have forced it to or allowed it to discharge quicker, um, but I didn't think about doing that. But anyway, so I thought, well, okay, I'll just leave it to run and hopefully it'll, it'll get through it eventually. Um, but what happened then was it was still discharging, but the battery appeared to be increasing in percentage. So I don't believe this bit of the of the battery state of charge, this, uh, this slope here, um, because it was still discharging at this point, yet the battery percentage charge was increasing. Um, 
so okay it, it uh, this this point um it actually did switch to uh, to charging so um at about what's that um 11:20 it started to actually charge again and now i know that it probably hadn't fully discharged at this point uh, so it didn't do what I expected it to do. My, my expectation was that it would discharge fully to zero and then fully charge up to 100. But what appears to have happened is that it, it partially discharged and then it charged itself up um, using excess solar, which is all of this bit here. But then it got to about this point here at um, 10 to 2 and suddenly went from 56% up to 100% in a matter of minutes. Um, so I obviously it had reached the, the capacity and uh, decided that it actually was full at that point. So all of this stuff here is, is utter nonsense. Um, and then it was full. So that's fine. And it was it was all done. However, what was slightly weirder than that is that the actual message I received that tells that told me that it, it had completed its calibration happened around about here. So it was in the middle of charging up. So it hadn't reached the full 100 percent at that point. So that was really weird. It didn't fully discharge and it didn't fully charge by the time it said that the calibration was over. So, okay, well, it all seemed to work. Um, was a bit weird, didn't didn't do quite what I expected. But in subsequent days, it has basically behaved exactly as it did before. So as far as I can tell, it's worked just fine. Um, let me show you uh, the following day just to, to give you an idea. It, this is the more tip, much more typical pattern of what we, we seem to experience. Um, and I switched it back to charging up to 80% uh, for the following day so uh, th this block here is now the eddy heating up and the battery charging at the same time and obviously the battery then reaches 80 percent and when the sun comes up it charges all the way up to 100 percent and we then start exporting a load and then i force export for an hour and a half in in the peak uh, flux period so yeah everything seems to be working absolutely fine um it's well nothing much has changed for us to be honest because um it was working fine before so for everyone who has been experiencing the problems with the the state of charge issues uh, i hope it's fixed it for you um i've not experienced any change but um then i wasn't experiencing those problems so um, all I can say is, well, I've done I've done the job. It's uh, it's all updated. Um, I made a slight uh, miscalculation by attempting to be clever with the the charging um, by charging it from solar. However, completely forgot to anticipate the fact that I couldn't discharge as quickly as I thought. So uh, there you go. Lessons learned. Um, for next time, I will probably what I'll do is I'll either start it much earlier in the day so that it's able to discharge fully you know, more quickly and try and get the battery lower than than the 50%. I, I actually had to do some chores in the morning, so I didn't get around to doing the update as, as early as I thought I would. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's wait and see, and I'll, I'll see what happens in the next one. Hopefully that was interesting to you, and uh, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.